Hello. How's everybody doing? I thought I'd make subtle mention of the fact that uh, we were awarded the Agency of the Year last night. <laughs> yeah, OK, I've got you on my side, but I'm about to lose you all as friends right now. I've got a very difficult subject to cover here. And that's the fact that we're all addicted to cliches. B2B marketing is full of cliche addicts. It's uh, unequivocal. They're everywhere you look. And um, let's, let's just talk about why that is, shall we? We're supposed to deliver this, aren't we? That's, that's our job. But I must have heard this word like a thousand times. And when you hear a word over and over again, it starts to lose its meaning. I've got to point something out to you here about this word. There's another word hidden in it, which is a little bit more difficult for people to cope with. And that word is different. You want me to differentiate? No problem. I don't even know what it means anymore. You want me to be different? What do you mean different? What are you talking about different? I'm a human being. I don't want to be different. I want to be safe. I want to be accepted. I want to be settled. But this is what gives rise to cliches. Okay? It's this kind of thinking and this kind of feeling that we've got to fight. We've really got to fight against this, people. We've got to take these cliche driving thoughts round the back of the barn and blow their goddamn brains out. It's as simple as that. That's what we've got to do, you know? And I'm here to recruit people today. I want you to join me in the fight against cliches. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Can you imagine how boring that film would have been if Neo had taken the blue pill? <laughs> he just spent the next two hours watching him computer programming in his little dark room. But thankfully, thankfully for all the viewers, he didn't. He didn't take the blue pill. He decided to take the red pill, which was the difficult choice. He made the difficult choice when given that choice. Okay? He took, and he became the one. And that's what B2B brands are trying to do in their market. They're trying to become the one. So how are they measuring up in the red, red pill, blue pill stakes? Uh-oh. They're all blue. I think the evidence speaks for itself. Ruben, this is your brain talking. That's your dream client list. You're committing career suicide right now. Aren't those lovely logos? And actually, it's not corporate design where the problem lurks. It's in content. Yeah, that's right, the other C word, content. Marketing content is where you find cliches. And uh, if you don't believe me, let's just say hello to medical industry marketing content, OK? What about construction industry marketing content? Look, there they are. They were all wearing yellow hats. There's a guy shaking hands and the yellow hat. Great, great work. OK, what about hello to technology industry marketing? I want it to be like Tom Cruise in The Thing, you know? OK. <laughs> want to see some cloud companies? Yeah? What's the difference? I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. But look, here's something I want you to think about. How many times as client marketers do you actually get to make a difference with your brand? We still run in cycles, you know. 
that's still happening. My clients, it's about once a year. Once a year where they get the chance to make a real difference to their brand. And um, that's something I want you to think about. So when that happens, when that chance comes along, be honest now, will you be prepared to take the red pill when it's offered? Or will you say, can you just make that a little bit more palatable? Let's make it a pink pill. You'll show it around to the sales force and some of your colleagues, and all of a sudden they water it down a bit more. What are you left with? Now you've got a white pill. Um, you take it to the marketing board, you take it to the board, and um, they get their big blue pens out, and what do you know? You end up with something much more palatable that everybody's prepared to swallow, but that nobody's going to notice. Okay, these are precious moments that you get, so I want you to think about that. But, you know, we've all been bad people in our times of, uh, as marketeers, and me included. I used to be a cliche dealer, you know, <laughs> never mind a cliche addict. I was, I, was, I was selling this stuff. You know, hey, you want a jigsaw or shaking hands with a light bulb? No problem. Yeah, I gotcha. No, I want to be different this time. No, you don't. You'll only get noticed. Come on. Yeah, have the earth on a skateboard and off you go. Fantastic. Okay. But I knew this was wrong and I wanted to break, break the cycle of addiction to cliches. So what I did was I wrote a book where I put all the cliches I could think of in there. I gave it to my clients. I gave it to my colleagues. I gave it to my friends and I said, I promise to you I am never going to do any of the work that's in that book. Okay? And the book's here today for all of you, and I want you to take it and join me in that fight, okay? Now, I said that I was recruiting people who wanted to fight today. Is there anybody in this audience that is prepared to come up here right now and confess their cliches? I will join you. Whoa. <laughs> come on up here, young man. Well, who is, I know this guy. This is Michael Ruby. This is Michael Ruby of Stein IS, my creative partner. How are you doing, Michael? Well, I'm, uh, well, I'm really loud, apparently. Um, a little ashamed to say that, like you, I once experimented with cliches with my clients. It was a phase I'm not very proud of. But uh, I'm ready to put it behind me, and I'm ready to move forward. I'm, I'm ready to take that pledge. Right on, Michael. Does that feel good? Feels really good. Really. I, yeah. I, f I feel saved. Yeah. Oh my God. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the immortal words of Jerry Maguire, who's coming with me? <laughs> Who is going to stand up today and take a pledge against BDB cliches? No pressure. No shame. No judgment. We'll make it a game. A game of. Cliché bingo! That's right. We are going to show you 10 of the most notoriously awful B2B cliches that you have ever seen in your entire life. The first person who's willing to admit that they have used or seen five of these somewhere in their organization, a PowerPoint, an ad, a sales sheet, doesn't matter. You're going to win a fabulous prize, yes? A gigantic bottle of champagne. It's the Perfect real to deal. share with your colleagues or Chris in a boat. So. Everybody ready? First up, the target. It says precision. It says accuracy. It says that your lazy art director decided that he wanted to be a hipster, drink some PBR, and take a selfie on Instagram and stop working on your ad. <laughs> Number two, the open road. Ah, yes. The shortest path to mediocrity is upon the open road. Number three is the safe. Yes, security. It has been safely protecting us from fresh thinking for six generations. Number four, clearly the light bulb. From the groans, I can tell that far, far too many of you are going, no, not again, not again. Now that's four. Who's close? Who's close to bingo? Let's be honest. Here we go with number five. Let's see if we hear a big, loud bingo from the back. The tape measure. Did I hear a bingo? Did we get no. a bingo? Yeah, who is it? You want, you want your champagne? You've got to come up on stage and get it. 
Come on. Come on up We here. have a winner of Cliche Bingo, ladies Who and gentlemen. Who is it? Who's the winner? Five for five. There isn't anybody yet. There isn't Carry anybody. on, Michael. Somebody yelled bingo. Carry on. Did somebody say bingo or not? Never mind. Carry on, Michael. We don't have a winner yet. All right. We're on to number six. The jigsaw puzzle. Building your cliche one painful piece at a time. Next up is the baton. Bingo! Bingo! There we go. Here's an honest man. There is an honest and brave Here's soul. Here's an honest Thank man. You, <laughs> there you go, man. Thank you. There you Congratulations. Go. That's, all That's all yours. Appreciate Congratulations. Thank While the gentleman gets his picture taken for the dubious but incredible honor of winning Cliche Bingo, the rest of the list, the crystal ball for in your future seeing dark and dull moments, the seedling, and finally, with its death grip ooh. on mediocrity, ooh, <laughs> the handshake, please let go. Now, we've only shown you 10, but as Ruben alluded, we have 91 more cliches in the 101 Cliches book. We have free copies available in the lobby. They're a great laugh for the flight home. Or go to 101cliches.com or steiniais.com to learn more. So with that, I'm Michael Ruby. I'm Ruben Webb. And we are kicking the cliche habit. Thank you so much.